And now we have yet another very, very insightful uh, keynote address. And this keynote address will be by Mr. Imran Qureshi, Senior Manager, New Business for ALD Automotive Lease Plan. And he will be setting the stage for an engaging day of discussion. So are we ready? Can we welcome Mr. Qureshi with a huge round of applause? Good morning, my name is Imran Qureshi. I take care of the new business uh, development for AD Automotive Lease Plan. I guess I'm audible as of now. Uh, better? Okay. Uh, so yeah, uh, first of all, thank you Dan and Bradstreet for you know, providing this uh, opportunity for showcasing our products and our capabilities to a uh, fraternity like yours. To start with, uh, no, uh, yeah. A brief introduction about ALD Automotive. ALD Automotive is a part of Societe Generale Bank, which is headquartered in Paris, and Sogen itself operates in around uh, 60 countries as of now. Uh, if we talk only about India, we are present since 2005, and the total fleet that we have currently is approximately 40,000 vehicles. We are currently dealing with more than 1,800 corporates at this point of time, and uh, uh, we are basically an operating lease company wherein we provide the vehicles on lease basis for a specific tenor and usage. Once the period is over, the vehicles are actually returned back to AD and we sell it off in the market. Now, what we are trying to do here is, uh, okay, these are some numbers for AD Automotive India. In last year, in 2022, we have purchased approximately 13,000 vehicles and approximately 16,000 tires in India itself. Uh, we have a total workforce of 348 employees. Globally, these are our numbers. Currently, we have approximately 3.3 million vehicles. We have a total employee strength of 15,700 uh, employees globally. The total vehicles that we purchase in a year is approximately 8 lakh vehicles, and we have been buying approximately 4 million tires on an annual basis. These are the kind of numbers that we are talking about when it comes to you know, corporate uh, benefits that we are supposed to provide to, uh, to our customers on a global level. Uh, Coming back to the next slide, yeah. Uh, so these are currently the challenges faced, uh, you know, by the HRs. One is employee retention, offer solutions that doesn't lead to additional costs. Now, in a competitive job market, attracting and retaining top talent can be challenging for HR managers. You know, once you have hired a top talent, keeping them on board might be just challenging. Offering a standard benefit package may not be enough to stand out. Managing a complex compensation benefits programs and keeping up with the compliance and regulations of those benefits is also very daunting to you all. Now, car lease is a perk that many job seekers find attractive, especially those who may have a long commute or need a reliable transportation. Now, hence, providing a car lease benefits you know, not only attracts them, but also keep them loyal to your company, reducing the turnovers. Car lease often include insurance, maintenance, and other value-added services, you know, as a part of packages now. Now, by outsourcing these aspects to the ALD Automotive, you can significantly reduce administrative tasks related to managing a fleet of company vehicles. Now, what basically is operating lease? The transaction is uh, very simple. Uh, first of all, we are talking about 100% funding of the vehicles, you know, so basically that's the reason why corporates are actually reducing their administrative costs. We are not talking about any additional costs which are associated with the transaction. What happens in this transaction is like, you know, ALD will be funding the entire cost of the vehicle and these vehicles are provided for a specific period. Now, from an Indian perspective, this is something, you know, specifically a four years tenor or maximum of five year a lease can be done. What we basically do here is we provide these vehicles and we assume a predetermined residual value in the beginning of the period itself. And we give the benefit of this residual value right from day one. Now, if you compare it with a generic arrangement of buying a vehicle, you know, that's the standard method of taking a car on a bank loan. If a bank is funding an X amount, bank will be recovering the entire X amount. And at the end of the tenor, the vehicle belongs to the employee. How does this differ with the lease transaction? First of all, banks never fund 
the on-road cost of the vehicle. They only fund like 85 or 90 percent of the car cost. So there are certain, you know, uh, uh, down payments that an employee is supposed to do. These are basically the financial burdens that we are talking about. Employee has to make certain payments from their post-tax savings, you know, uh, and uh, these are basically the road tax costs which are associated. Now, at the end of the tenor, the employee, you know, it's already a four-year-old car, five-year-old car, and employee is stuck with that vehicle. Now, what happens in leasing? First of all, the entire on-road funding is done. At the end of the tenor, they can simply return the vehicle back to ALD, and the vehicles will be sold in the market at the market value. Now, what price we might get after four years or five years is something the benefit is provided right from day one. Now, in this example, what we are showing is, the car of the price, uh, the, uh, the price of the car is 10 lakh rupees. It is taken for a period of four years and 60,000 kilometers. Now, based on this usage, we have analyzed the resale price of the car might be four and a half lakh rupees. So, what we are going to recover from the employee is the balance five and a half lakh rupees plus additional, uh, you know, services that the employee is taking. At the end of the tenor, he is simply outsourcing his risk on the resale price by simply returning the car back to us. Whatever money we might make in terms of selling this car is something, you know, is the ALD's prerog prerogative. Because if I'm not able to make four and a half lakh rupees in terms of selling the car, it will be my loss. So employees actually using a 10 lakh rupees car, but he is only paying five and a half lakh rupees. And the entire benefit is associated in a way that he is only paying the depreciated cost of the vehicle. Now, why this transaction is more important for corporates is because, you know, this is a uh, pre-tax income. Now, whatever EMIs, if you see in the current arrangement, the EMIs are paid by the employees from their post-tax income if they want to buy a car on an outright basis or on, uh, you know, on a bank loan. But here, this entire EMI, which is be basically becoming a part of the CTC of the employee, it becomes pre-tax. So when this component is taken out from the special allowance component of the employee CTC, employee is not supposed to pay any tax on that particular component, and that's how he saved tax on the entire EMI. A very simple example, if the car is, you know, car's EMI is 20,000 rupees, employee has already paid 30% tax on that amount, so he's indirectly paying 26,000 rupees on a monthly basis, but here he is saving tax on the entire 30% uh, tax, which is applicable on that transaction. Now, yeah, what are the benefits of full service leasing? First is the risk management. The risk is in terms of resale of the car at the end of the tenor, plus also the risk in terms of the acquisition of the car right from day one. Now, Talking about corporates who have a large fleet, you know, they are not in a position to speak to different manufacturers, different dealerships in different states, different cities. It is very difficult. So you are entirely, you know, uh, uh, outsourcing the risk in terms of the procurement of the vehicles plus the management of those vehicles. Less overheads and administrative costs. The entire transaction is done by ALD in terms of negotiations with the dealers, in terms of the pricing, discounts, availability of the vehicles. So this is actually reducing the burden, on, which is basically on the HR and admin teams. Consultancy expertise. Uh, the today's automotive industry is, you know, uh, changing with a very fast pace. There are many vehicles, we all know the waiting periods of the vehicles are significantly increasing. For some vehicles, you know, it is going more than a year or so. So we basically consult with all the employees. We tell them what kind of vehicles are suitable as per their requirements. If they are looking for a car for mobility purpose or if they are looking for a car for the tax benefit purpose. So basis on that, we, uh, we suggest the employees what kind of a vehicle will be feasible for them to do, uh, you know, to take and uh, what would be the total outflow for them and which is going to be the more beneficial transaction transaction for them. So that kind of a consultancy we provide. We also arrange the test drive facilities for the employees in their respective cities. Uh, we also, you know, uh, make sure that the employee is getting maximum out of the transaction. Simplified accounting and tax management. Now, when we say operating lease, it's an off-balance sheet transaction for a corporate. Now, this is one more reason why corporates prefer to go for a corporate, uh, you know, a operating lease transaction, because these vehicles doesn't appear in their books. And that is why the, uh, you know, the balance sheets of the companies are actually healthier. Now, we are talking about a fleet size of, say, 500 vehicles, which are, and we all know vehicle is a non-productive asset. It's a depreciating asset. The moment you buy the car, the, the value of the vehicle is lost, actually. So these vehicles actually appear in ALD's books, and it is actually making your, you know, balance sheets on a healthier side. Sole invoicing, centralized, all services. Yeah. 
sole invoicing centralized all services according to uh, accounting now wherever the vehicle is provided in that particular city or state the invoicing is done it is done on a central level so we have mechanisms wherein we are talking about different technologies which we use in terms of the invoicing for corporate so you know you might have a fleet in uh, all across india but the invoicing will be done on a central level with the corporate office itself yeah uh, reporting and transparency we have already discussed next okay now what are the ways wherein you can provide a car to the employee there are different type of acquisitions based on the needs of different uh, corporates so one is pro you can provide the cars to the senior management as a perk second is the tool for trade vehicles now what we mean by tool for trade is you know uh, the vehicles are required by the uh, hrs to provide it to the sales team because these people normally moves uh, move all across the country they need a vehicle they need a transportation method and in this case you know it's like one vehicle for entire sales team one model one vehicle is selected by the company and this these are something which are majorly used by manufacturing industries agro based industries chemical industries and the vehicles are by, you know bought on bulk basis third is from the tax benefit purpose we are talking about employee cars wherein the emi of the vehicle is made as a part of the employee ctc itself once the employee decides to take a car that emi is deducted from his ctc and employee gets a tax benefit because he is not getting that amount as a you know as a part of their salary slips itself so these are certain methods by which a car can be provided to the employees yeah not you know uh, in terms of figures we all want to know what's the kind of uh, benefit we are actually talking about now we all know when we provide a company car there are also some added advantages in terms of fuel reimbursement driver reimbursements you know all these components which are there are already derived from the special allowance component because that's the only component which can be played with now car lease is one such effective method wherein we are talking about no limits whatever is the car emi if the special allowance component you know allows the flexibility that entire amount can be deducted from their ctc now here we have taken an example of a 12 lakh rupees kind of a car whose emi is approximately 18400 rupees okay now we have also assumed that along with a company provided car employee can also claim fuel and driver reimbursement so fuel we are expecting 15000 rupees a month approximately that's the amount which he, anyways he is going to spend in terms of the usage and 20000 is expected towards the driver salary so 35000 is the total component now a scenario wherein currently there is no car policy in the organization employee is getting 18800 rupees plus 35000 rupees in his salary okay now this the total comes to 53800 rupees but when this when this amount when this allowance is you know credited in the salary it is taxed it is pre tax so 30% tax is already deducted employee is only getting 37000 rupees in hand now if he wants to buy a car he needs to make the emi payment from his post tax income which is 37000 rupees coming back to the leasing transaction assuming 18000 rupees goes to the leasing company that is ald so he uh, he doesn't get that uh, amount in his salary balance 35000 which is the fuel and driver reimbursement are paid to him as a reimbursement now when it is provided as a reimbursement it is a perk and a perquisite tax will be applicable in that component so he actually pays 800 rupees only against 35000 rupees which he is getting as a reimbursement now in this case his total cash in hand is 34140 rupees in the first scenario it was 3000 37000 in the second scenario it is 34000 with a car so if you see the difference the total value of 12 lakh rupees car his total cost of usage is hardly 3 and a half thousand rupees per month so that's the kind of benefit that we are talking about with the operating lease transaction next yeah uh over a period of time this product has evolved and uh, you know uh, the corporate transaction is been changing now the corporates also say that the employees are you know uh, used by the, the vehicles are used by their employees itself so now we have a different product wherein right from day one the vehicles can be registered in the name of the employee itself now the benefit of this transaction is like when the employee is the registered owner of the car the legal liabilities arising you know uh, because of the usage of the car as per motor vehicles act is on the registered owner which is the employee so 
Today, if you are talking about any hit and run case or a drunken driving case, if the vehicle is registered in the name of the company itself, the liability comes on the company. But with this product offering, the liability is on the employee. So at least the company is safeguarded from the legal aspects which are arising because of the usage of the vehicle. Now, it is a kind of a tripartite agreement. The benefits are there are easy options of exits in terms of the employee. If the employee decides to retain the car at the end of the tenor, the employee is still the registered owner, being the first owner of the vehicle. So it doesn't impact the resale values of the vehicles also. It is also important because in case if the employee, em employee separates from this organization and joins another organization, it is very easier for him to take his car from this to another company. So we are talking about flexibilities in terms of offering. offering. There are no restrictions in terms of the usage as well. Employee decides what is his usage and according to his usage, the EMIs are derived and he can decide what kind of component he is supposed to you know, deduct from his salary. Uh, Another product that we have is ALD Smart. Okay, in this, uh, now we understand the entire, uh, you know, perspective of this transaction is to simply use the cars and at the end of the tenor, simply return the vehicle back to ALD and get rid of the vehicle without any challenges. Now, there are certain mindsets who think that, okay, you know, uh, I have used the car. This is an Indian mentality that this is, you know, uh, Indian people are emotionally attached with their vehicles. So they really want to retain the car at the end of the tenor. So over there, we can have an option wherein we can provide a predetermined uh, vehicle's cost and the employee can just make that payment and retain the car at the end of the tenor. Post that, they can decide what they would do, want to do with the vehicle, whether they can you know, take the car to the new company or if they want to sell that car in the market at the market value, they can do so and make some extra amount in that. So this is another offering wherein we provide a committed value for the car which the employee can make a payment at the end of the period. Okay. Now, the innovative solutions that we have brought in this arrangement are my ALD. We have heavily invested in different IT technologies, you know, considering the changing dynamics. And it's not about that, you know, people used to talk about cars over phone or on emails, but we have a different perspective to this altogether. We have uh, different tools like my ALD, wherein employee can see the details about his contract, if they want to put the vehicles for servicing, they can put the request on the tool itself. They don't need to coordinate with any customer support team or they don't need to coordinate with the respective dealerships or service centers. Secondly, we have ALD quote wherein the employee can directly go on the portal. They can make the commercials for their desired vehicles. Whatever vehicles coming in India at this point of time are all available on the portal with the latest pricings. An employee can decide which vehicle they would want to go for as per the car policy of their organizations. We have my ALD manager. This is specifically for the fleet managers, wherein you know the access is provided to three key people in the organization, like one from finance, one from HR, one from admin. And they can see the entire fleet which is available in their organization, what kind of contract is going on with which employee, whether the vehicle is being serviced on time, are there any hassles in terms of insurance renewal. Everything is available on my ALD portal through the fleet manager access. ALD Avant is a very interesting loyalty program that we provide and uh, uh, it is basically for employees who can, you know, uh, who basically receives the uh, 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 bonus points which they can, uh, you know, uh, 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 redeem against the uh, 800 products which are available on the portal. Uh, next. Yeah, just skip this. Skip. Yeah. So uh, we have, you know, uh, we have Yugo Digit wherein we are talking about credit procedures, which is all online. Entire credit procedure of the employee is done on an, through an online tool. We have end-to-end -end vehicle delivery solutions. Everything is automated wherein the employee puts up the request on the system. Uh, the, you know, the vehicle is ordered through the system itself. And the, once the vehicle is delivered, the entire details about their particular contract can be available on the MyID tool itself. Okay, now I think you all have seen uh, two vehicles uh, which are standing outside. We have our partner uh, Audi Mumbai uh, South, you know, which are available. We have two excellent vehicles. One is Audi A4 technology and another Audi Q3, which is there. Now Q3 basically comes in, uh, you know, three variants, premium, premium plus and technology. But the variant which you are seeing outside is, a, is the latest offering of Q3, which is a, a sportback model, Quattro four-wheel drive. 
I request all of you to you know uh, go outside, have a look and feel of these vehicles, and uh, you know our team is there, and we are here to address all your concerns about the leasing transaction. Thanks a lot, everyone. Thank you so much, Mr. Qureshi. Uh, may I request you to be on stage with us for just a minute more? Uh, and may I request uh, Ms. Pallavi Dhawan Gupte to come on stage and present a small memento uh, to him. Can we have a huge round of applause for Mr. Qureshi for walking us through all those details and insights? Big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir.